All right, guys, how's it going? I'm in a can't be arsed mood today. If you've watched my other videos, you know, you'll you'll have seen that. Uh, I think it's to do with Jürgen leaving and everything, everyone being depressed. And every time I open the web browser on my mobile phone, it's a, an interview or a sad picture or sad comments. And I think it's rubbing off on me a bit. Uh, so I can't wait till next week because I just want to be talking about Arna Slot. He does a lot of talking, Arna Slot, doesn't he? Well, I've seen a few people saying, ooh, you know, he's you know he's confirmed now that he's the Liverpool manager, basically, uh, with his latest comments. Before Liverpool Football Club have done it, and some people, me included, uh, think Liverpool would prefer to do it a different way. He does talk a lot, this guy. And um, that's something that he's going to have to be careful with, with the British media, because it ain't going to be like over there. That is for sure. Um... But, you know, there's the right people at Liverpool Football Club will help him with that. There's no doubt about that. Um, and you could in his... You know, I, I know people will say in his defence, and I've seen them say it. Um, you know, he's, he's excited. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know what I mean? It's nice, he's excited, but he's supposed to be professional. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be like us if we got Liverpool job, wouldn't it? We'd be like that. You know, he should be like... Yeah, I'm looking by Liverpool, all right. Big deal. Well, you know, I'm a professional manager. I can do anything. I'm not picking on him. I'm just telling you what people are saying today, all right? I'm just in a grumpy mood because I'm bored. Uh, don't know. I just think I'm a bit fed up. And there's no reason to be, other than Jürgen's off. So, I don't know. It's just today feels different. No football on. Oh, that's weird, totally weird. I can't remember a time as a Liverpool supporter where you were waiting for a manager to leave. Can you? I mean, it'll depend on your age, maybe. But usually they just get the bullet, don't they? Do you know what I mean? Um, it's strange. A strange situation because I, I remember when Rafa went, I was gutted, but I knew that Rafa was going to get sacked the night before um, the official announcement because Christian Perslow accidentally emailed a friend of mine that shared the same Christian surname. Sorry, that's completely wrong, the same Christian name but a different surname. Um, you know, like when you do an also, you know, when you put two, if you say you're emailing Andy Smith and Andy Johnson, you pick the wrong one. Um, and, and Christian Perslow leaked to my friend accidentally that was in contact with um, Perslow. You know, we're sacking Rafa tomorrow. This is how we're going to tell him. This is how we're going to tell the media. This is how we're gonna how we're gonna handle it. This is the this is what we're gonna say, uh, you know, basically how they were gonna handle the whole thing. And um, my friend received that in the middle of the night and contacted me. You know, middle of the night, obviously, you can't sit on that, can you? You don't go. I'll tell Doug tomorrow. Um, and he was like, "Oh, Rafa's getting sacked. I just forwarded you an email from Perslow." Um, so we knew that Rafa was getting the bullet before he did. Bless him. Um, which is pretty shit, really. My friend did email Perslow back and said, I think you've sent this to the wrong person. And he was like, oh, I'm very, very sorry. You know, please don't, don't say anything, sort of thing. All right. Mm. Strange times. But yeah, it's... Um... I'm going to get really morbid now and really depressed. So turn off now if you can't handle it, all right? But it's a bit like a loved one, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? When they say, like, sudden death, you don't get a chance to say goodbye. But it, it's taken away from you, the situation. But when it's a prolonged death, or when they're going to turn off a machine or make a decision 
you do get a chance to say goodbye, but how do you walk away from it? Do you know what I mean? It's like that. Fuck me, it's absolutely throwing me fucking sideways, all this. Can't be carrying on like this. It's doing my thing. It's a fucking game of football. It's a bag of wind. That's what I tell myself all the time. It's just a bag of wind. It's a game of football. Millionaire, fucking billionaires. They don't give a shit about us. Maybe that's the problem. We know Jürgen does. But it's not just about being the manager, is it? It's about how they connect and who they are. And I remember meeting Jürgen. Do you remember before he was Liverpool manager and when he was at, was it La Manga? Do you remember, guys? And I had the secret camera with me and all that. <laughs> and um, I met him then. And my wife met him as well. But I couldn't be there that time. That was another year. And that was a private thing. And she said, uh, can I get a photo with you? You know. Um, and said, you know, explained that I, you know, her husband, Duncan, Cocteau, whatever, uh, was in England at the time. It was in Spain again. And um, he said, yeah. But rather than it being like, just like a quick sort of like blurry selfie, went, let's make sure it's a good one. Do you know what I mean? It's a little bit cheeky, Jürgen, with my missus and that at the time. Yeah, and she was, she took great joy in it. Because I couldn't be there that day. Gonna miss him. Will miss him. And this is where I want to get to next week. Isn't it funny how shit can affect you like that? Mental. I honestly didn't think it would bother me one bit. Because I am quite... Well, I was going to say hard as nails, and I'm not really. I'm a very, very, very soft person. There's Duncan, Duncan, no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the top flight game these days... Fuck off, I can't be doing with bits on me. That's that fucking dog. When the top flight game, you know, I try to distance myself from it. I pretend I'm not bothered. Clearly I am. Dreading tomorrow. <clears throat> Dreading tomorrow, guys. See, people that don't support football, especially those that don't support Liverpool Football Club, won't understand, will they? You know what I mean? And it's not just because he's a great manager. It's because he's a great man. Great individual. 